YouTube. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Thomas coming at you again on another roof repair. I came out of nowhere. Homeowner said, Tom, I got a leak. And I said, well, where's the leak? He goes, well, it's coming out of the exhaust fan. I said, what? Well, it was dripping out of this. Okay? And what was happening is water was dripping and collecting in this ridge of this thing right here. All right? Sorry about that light. It's actually kind of bright. But anyway, water was dripping out of that. So, and I said, well, then obviously you got a leak somewhere. And he says, yeah, find it. So, I pulled the exhaust fan cover off. Pull the exhaust fan out, move the uh, uh, exhaust fan housing, which is a big box up there, and basically just stuck my just stuck my hand up in there until I can feel wherever it was with the wetness, and th the wetness was coming from right there. Okay, I can feel it in the top of the sheetrock when I put my arm up in there. So what I did was so I cut that whole section out, cut that out right there. And it's underneath the bathtub, okay? I mean, directly underneath the bathtub. So, I know these are going to be hard to see, but anyway, those tubes up in there, and it was leaking big time up in there. So, anyway, there goes that. So, uh, it's hard to see, but anyway, it was leaking way up in there. So, here's what I found. Uh, hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, just out of nowhere. Water, another water leak. Anyway, and here's where it was. The stupidest of all places, you won't believe it. All right third floor bathroom and of all places and I let I filled the water I filled the bathtub up with water turned all the water on got the water up to about right here left the water running here and popped the plug and then ran back downstairs to see where the water was leaking well guess what there was no leak nowhere guess where it was the drain valve so I removed the drain valve and it was leaking around the edge and it was going in behind the tub and dripping straight down. So all I did had to do was silicone, take that cover off, silicone the outside, which there was a hole, you know, where they, the plumbers plumb through the uh, tub and the wall and then run their pipe down. Well, all I did was silicone the outside or inside perimeter edge, which is the outside edge, the tubing, the PVC tubing, and then button that cap back up. Sure enough, did a water test on it, no leak. That was it. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Yeah, simple job. Oh my God. Now I'm going to show you a trick. And I told the homeowner I'm going to do this too, because he wanted to save some money. I said, okay. I'll save you some money. I'll show you how to do it. Instead of going through a whole big cut in, measure where that cut is, there's no studs running. The only stud is right literally right there on that edge, okay? Which would create a major problem because I would have to cut right into there and also to have to deal with painting and all that other crap. And the other says way over here, okay? So what I did was I surgically removed that save that piece, save this piece here, because I cut two sections out. First I cut this little section out, and then when I knew where I was, or I needed to cut, I cut that section out. I saved both pieces. Well, all I did was, is mud the edges, and stuck them right back up. Simple. And then mud over it, mud it, you know, mud the crack, and then what I'll do is, when this dries tomorrow, sand the hell out of it, then skim coat it. Go straight across it and skim coat it. That way I know i got a flat surface. Really super simple, man. 
okay? That way you don't have to go through a whole bunch of recuts trying to get this perfect line, hit a stud, all this stuff. You just stick it right back up there, mud the edge of the old piece that you pulled out, stick it right back up in there, and it'll glue itself right in place like it's never been cut out. Well, there you go. <laughs> a simple way of doing stuff like this. Now, I don't recommend this, but he asked me, can I do it cheap? And I said, yeah, I know a way to do it cheap. So, you know, that way I don't have to come, you know, uh, spend, you know, three or four hours here cutting uh, a piece of sheetrock and cutting more debris out of the, you know, cutting more of the sheetrock out of the ceiling to try to find that stud. Because all you, all you guys know that when you cut out, you try to cut out a square, stud to stud, 16 on center, whatever it is, and that's what you screw back in. But that's a fast way of doing it. Okay, I thought I'd show you that. All right, time out of here, and wait for another great adventure. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, leave those comments, and I'll see you later. Tom out of here. Bye. That's right. Tom out of here. Bye.